Prior to leaving for OSSM, I'd spent my entire life in a small town named Hooker, Oklahoma. As you could imagine, going to OSSM represented a huge change in my life. I went from a school where even the most advanced courses that were offered would not have challenged me at all, to one where the minimum graduation requirements were far outside of my grasp. What I took away most from OSSM was how to thrive in a challenging environment, that learning is a lifelong pursuit, and, as Professor Gleason would say, that we should always seek out opportunities in which to excel. Today, I am employed by Sandia National Laboratories, a U.S. Department of Energy national lab, where I take on some of our nation's most challenging and critical cybersecurity problems. I continue to support the OSSM Foundation both monetarily and by volunteering my time towards the Foundation's IT efforts. I thank each and every one of you, and am extremely appreciative to the OSSM faculty and staff for giving me all of the tools and the confidence necessary to kickstart my career. For me, OSSM, in terms of becoming a physician, Dr. Lee's um, anatomy class, and then I cannot remember my professor's name, but she taught zoology. But they both kind of opened our eyes to a little bit more in terms of science, and especially as a physician, I really started to like the anatomy. As I've matriculated over the years, you just get stronger and stronger and stronger, and then you, you realize what you truly, truly love, and you really develop that passion. My family, we moved back to Oklahoma. I opened my practice in 2015, and we've been going strong, and then every once in a while you'll catch me over at my other location of Kids First, working urgent care as well. Pediatrics is definitely a passion of mine. I do a lot with DHS cases, foster kids. I see a lot of foster children, and so there was truly a need, especially in my community, and so I felt that there was that need, and so I should be here to help serve that. When you actually have an opportunity to work with underserved populations, you understand that that could be any of us. And you also see how you can better improve the lives of the people around you. And it's important that those of us in Oklahoma realize that, I mean, we have such a high Medicaid population in this state. And you'd be surprised, there's so few doctors that take Medicaid, so few. It's been truly a, a rewarding for me and makes me realize how blessed that I have been. One of my mentors was Clara Luper. And so while I was at OSSM, I actually used to go every Monday to a group that she held for youth. And she always told me, well, you have a lot of work to do in this community, in this state. Being back, I actually realized what she was saying. And she's saying, you know, to whom much is given, much is required, right? So for those of us who leave, even some who may not physically move back, we have to help with our resources. I did not come from a school where there was an opportunity to advance faster than everyone else. That was a big change for a kid from a pig farm in Macomb, uh, but that's the beautiful thing about OSSM. It, it, there is no ceiling, no matter what your background and how much you need challenged, you will be challenged. Um, it's still to this day the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life, um, and at the same time it's the most valuable thing I've ever done in my life. OSSM not only gave me the head start to really come out on top in my pre-med curriculum, but it helped me embrace my inner entrepreneur. I returned to OU for medical school, and I've been here ever since. During the course of my work as a hospitalist, I identified a problem that we had in medicine and recruited a team, raised some money, found a solution, and uh, now I'm about uh, three to four months from FDA approval on, uh, on our first medical device. Innovation is about having the right mindset. Dr. Roberts taught us to always question the status quo, question the dogma, he would say. If I had just worked in the hospital thinking this is just the way things are, then I never would have founded the company. We wouldn't have an opportunity to change the way patients are connected to treatments, and I wouldn't have an opportunity to impact every patient in every country around the world instead of just the ones I can round on. I think it's important that we as alumni, the, the benefactors of this excellent, excellent opportunity and institution, rally behind it and ensure its viability for future generations. When I got to OSSM, I was surrounded by awesome classmates from all across the state 
and we were all similarly motivated to learn as much as we could and take courses that weren't available at our home high schools. I lead a group of physicists and we're working on trying to create the, the future for, for energy. And that is completely based on the fundamentals of science and math. And for me personally, that goes back to my experiences at OSSM. The fundamentals that you obtain at OSSM in chemistry, physics, mathematics, combined with that live action uh, roadmap of faculty who have advanced degrees in scientific fields, that has enabled me to define my place as a researcher and try to create a a better world, a better future um, for not only our community and our state, our country, and the world around us. OSSM is a truly fantastic experience that was very transformative for me.